Okay, difference between French green beans. So they are harvested earlier than regular green beans, so they oh. are thought to be more <laughs> Okay. Hi, I'm Tamara Green. I'm Sarah Grossman, and we are holistic nutritionists and cookbook authors. And today on We Know You Have 10 Minutes, we are making blackened trout with blanched green beans. It's quick, it's yummy, and if you like flavor, you're gonna like this recipe. Step one, green beans. So I'm gonna fill this pot with water, we're gonna bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna blanch them. Yeah, we're also using French green beans today because they are pre-trimmed, which means no cutting on our end, saving time, and they're actually sweeter and they cook faster. All right, our salted water is boiling, so we're just gonna very carefully, don't burn yourself, drop the green beans inside. And these only need two minutes. So this is gonna go by super quick. We're looking for them to get bright, bright, bright green, like vibrant, gorgeous green. Just let it sit. We're ready to move on to step two, which is preparing our trout. Basically, all we're gonna do is put the spices together on a plate and then we're going to coat the fish. We'll start with adding paprika, which is gonna add sweetness, and then Italian herbs, which will add a nice aroma to the fish, and a bit of heat from our cayenne pepper. And then lastly, we're gonna mix in sea salt. I'm just gonna use my fingers to mix this all together, or you could use a spoon if you want to. Do not touch your eyes after you touch the cayenne. <laughs> Whatever you yes, do. <laughs> that is really, really important to remember. If you do use your hands for this step, do not touch your eyes. <laughs> you want to spread the spices out so it's nice and flat, and then all I'm gonna do is dip the fish right in it to coat it, so I'll help you out, thanks. Let's grab the green beans before I even knew it. It was time to get them off the stove. I personally like to rinse these with just a little bit of cold water before they hit their ice bath. So a little bit of cold water, we wanna stop the cooking. And then here, we have our cold water bath ready to go. And this is gonna stop them from continuing to cook so that they don't become a mushy, disgusting mess. And instead, they're still crunchy and delicious. Moving on to cooking the trout now. So all we're gonna do is heat a pan. I'm gonna swirl the olive oil around to give it a nice coat. Now that the pan's hot, I'm just gonna add the fish flesh side down. We'll get a nice sizzle. We're gonna let it sit for two to three minutes. This part is really key. It's where the spices are gonna blacken. We're not burning the fish, we're just searing the spices. Okay, I'm gonna peek at the fish. It's looking so good and seared. Tamara, I think I'm ready for the juice. Yeah, so we're gonna add in, you know, you could use actual orange juice from a carton or a jar, but there's something about freshly squeezing the orange juice in that I feel like the flavor is so, you know, big and potent. Now we are flipping the fish. Do this really gently. You don't want it breaking apart. Oh my gosh, is that ever gorgeous. That looks amazing. Look how stunning this is. Really, all the spices have been blackened and browned. The fish is still really tender in the middle, which is what you want. And now the orange juice, like I said, it's just caramelizing here. So you're getting all that amazing sweetness. Fish has been cooked, it's beautiful. So now we wanna move on to seasoning our green beans and we're keeping it really, really simple. We're just gonna squeeze a little bit of orange juice on top and then season with a little bit of salt and toss around. So what this is doing is it's giving you that sweet and salty flavor. And because the green beans are naturally so sweet, you really don't need to overcomplicate it by adding more seasoning. Keep it simple. That's the motto to we know you have 10 minutes. We're also gonna add fresh chopped parsley. Gonna sprinkle it in, yum. So gonna add yum. some orange zest. I love actually when the orange is on top of the green because both the colors are so vibrant. When things are colorful, you're just more likely to want to eat it. Okay, let's taste yeah, one. Yeah, let's taste it. Let me see it. Mm, that's good. Mm, I love the orange. Me too. It actually needs like a pinch of lemon to get it a little bit more acidic. I agree. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Mm -hmm. And then it will be perfect. Yum. <laughs> Let's get these beautiful greens onto the plate with our trout. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna move the trout just a little bit to make room for more greens. Then I'm gonna sprinkle this parsley over top of everything so we get a little bit of extra color. Whoops. 
That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, lemon, my turn. Okay, squeeze of lemon, just an extra one on the fish over the beans, bring out more acid flavor. And then just for the final garnish, we will put these cute little lemon slices on top. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, that took less than 10 minutes. Blackened trout, citrus green beans, incredibly delicious. Dinner is served. And beautiful, <laughs> all on one plate, ready all to go. All on one plate, I'm gonna take a bite yeah, now. Yeah, so we're gonna dive right in. And we hope you'll make it. Let us know if you do. Oh my gosh, this fish is so good. 